Hi, this is Dr. Saxena and uh, again uh, talking about how to optimize health. We'll be talking about some of the stuff which uh, I really believe people should understand to get an idea of what is that. Let's talk about something on cancer. Uh, I'll be focusing on some things. What are the, uh, how you can always work with, what are the causes of cancer, what is uh, uh, the prevention and treatment, what are the things which are done. But before that, let, what are the foods and herbs which can help and uh, treat as well as prevent cancer. I think that is my major focus, what are the foods and herbs. Uh, so I'll be focusing on, on that in a big way because everyone can always understand what are the things there. Usually cancers, I know people, it's a general term applied uh, and uh, to any of the various types of malignant neoplasms, most of the which invade the surrounding tissues. Uh, it arises from an abnormal, uncontrolled division of cells. Um, it is, cancer is classed as an ailment of immune system and cancer cells are usually treated as antigens by the immune system. You need to understand that. So I just want to come up into how, what are the things, what are the, the area, what are the chemicals, what are the things which can help in uh, really trying to un, uh, prevent or suppress this cancer. Um, see what happens is uh, inhibiting the growth of uh, already established cancer and regressing existing cancer is the basic thing which we always uh, try to work it out there are certain chemicals there are certain things which are produced within the body which prevents or suppresses this growth so endogenous chemicals that the body produces naturally that prevent some forms of cancer so I'll be focusing not on exogenous, which is normally given our uh, kind of chemicals which are given, which are the chemotherapeutic drugs. I'll be talking about something which has endogenous produced, something like uh, simple things. We try to work with something like, like antioxidant enzymes. Antioxidant some enzymes are you, you we usually talk about something comes to my mind is the superoxide dismutase. Um, what are the carbohydrates which help? There are some carbohydrates which are called glucuronides which help in prevent many types of ca carcinogen induced cancer. Uh, there are some enzymes, there are a lot of enzymes which the body produces which is something like beta glucosidase, you have got peroxidase, you have got proteolytic enzyme, you have got urease, they are, they are usually produced and, uh, and it is, it helps to fight this particular, you have got a cancer killing substance called latrin, which has got something like beta, beta glucosidase and uh, it took us long time to understand what exactly, exactly this thing is causing, lateral is causing, we now understand it is something like a very simple mechanism, it works in all and like that you have got something like peroxidase, you have got something like endogenous proteolytic enzymes, which we use in a big way trying to work on that. So yes, there are uh, things which are, uh, there are some hormones, there are some things like vitamin D, uh, you have got something like uh, vitamin D is now known as a hormone and uh, you have got something like DHEA, you have got something like melatonin, you have got pregnenolone, you have got something like thymosine and all that which are helpful in preventing some forms of cancer. In fact, um, melatonin we use uh, in some of the things where it is used as a therapy in advanced forms of cancer. This is uh, one thing which has been uh, already proved. Uh, but there are a lot of research uh, was done and uh, I'm definitely trying to uh, follow what are, what are the papers with which we work on this. You have got some things uh, on the table and uh, you have something like immune system chemicals. Immune system chemicals are usually GCMAF, one is called granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor and uh, this accelerates uh, the recovery in the growth of eosinophils and neutrophils 
following the administration of anti-cancer uh, pharmaceuticals, this helps. Uh, there is a thing called interferons. There is things, a lot of stuff. Apart from that, I certainly uh, would like to uh, the endogenous treatments. I would like to see that there is uh, the, the people should have normal cholesterol because low cholesterol uh, uh, levels are known to uh, uh, are known as a cancer risk, high risk of cancer in the patients. So. We, we need to we need to work we need to look at that uh, thing also so uh, there are some proteins there are some proteins or peptides usually uh, something like antineoplastins is one thing you have got collagen which uh, uh, retards uh, uh, spread of some tumors you have got tuftsin or you have got some thymy protein which helps and uh, uh, this is something about uh, chemicals as such so uh, there, 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 there are some things which we normally use as metab uh, metabolic therapy and uh, we, I would like to go into uh, some of the nitty gritties of that particular thing and uh, where we are trying to work right from the uh, thing called uh, uh, micro, bi uh, microbiome, try to replenish the microbiome uh, which is got by doing some good kind of stuffs. Good stuffs are usually um, uh, I can talk about something like um, bifidobacteria. You have got good probiotics and all that to try to work with that. There are some good minerals which help in uh, replenishing the body to fight against these cancers. You have got some good uh, organic acids. You have got some uh, various uh, simple simple things which uh, may look so uh, simple it can be something like chlorophyll it can be something like whey protein it can be something like coenzyme q10 uh, some uh, so these are all the things which we have with our uh, at our this one disposal and uh, i'd like to as i was talking initially i would like to talk about food and herb treatments for cancer um, see these traditional things which have been sometimes now it is ignored but I can always tell you what are the foods which prevent or treat various forms of cancer uh, the first thing which comes to my mind is uh, a green uh, kind of things or which can be something like spirulina or algae uh, spirulina or corella uh, you have got something which uh, helps uh, with gorilla as well as spirulina, it prolongs the survival time in the persons who are afflicted with various kinds of cancer. It helps by boosting the immune response, not directly killing the cancer cells. Uh, you have got something like uh, resveratrol in the red wine, uh, which prevents many carcinogens from inducing uh, chromosomal mutations. Uh, so, basically, resveratrol and gallic acid content of the wine which is the thing which helps again um, uh, in a kind of controlled way um, there are some animal derived supplements which are usually bovine cartilage shark cartilage shark cartilage is used uh, is a simple thing which may regress some types of cancer and uh, it inhibits that angiogenesis it's shark cartilage is a, a good stuff and um, yeah, apart from that, we have something like uh, dairy foods. Yogurt is one of the has got very good anti-tumor activity. Uh, it was proved in mice also. You have got some beverages we try to work or talk about. Can coffee prevent some types of cancer? Uh, the reason being, you have got a lot of polyphenols uh, in coffee, blocking the formation of nitrosamines, which helps uh, nitrosamine production increases the cancer kind of thing you have got something like royal jelly uh, which is something like a bee uh, foods uh, bee pollen uh, propolis and all that which also helps coming to one of the fermented foods is my favorite to topic i believe there is a something called miso which is a soybean product which is a fermented soybean product that neutralizes uh, all this cancer in uh, benzopyrin induced cancers um, coming to the fruits i think this is a good segment which i believe everyone should understand this particular thing apples help to prevent many forms of cancer 
Why? Because they have something like ellagic acid, you have got something like quercetin. These are all the very good antioxidants. And uh, you have got chlorogenic acid as well as caffeine, uh, caffeic acid. Uh, you have got a something called avocado and uh, absolutely everyone is liking that thing. Um, again, uh, avocado has something, uh, manohaptulose content in avoc avocado which is uh, inhibiting the glucokinase enzyme and by inhib and that inhibits uptake of glucose into cancer cells you are uh, trying to work at the like uh, uh, basically uh, all glu all cancer cells they like glucose they want to have more uptake of glucose and by just uh, preventing that uptake uh, you can always do a big uh, you can always selectively um, starve a cancer cell. How to starve a cancer cell? Uh, cancer is a uh, good book which is uh, one of my uh, someone has written and uh, it's it's an amazing thing. This is uh, one thing which I thought I should share is this avocado. Uh, apart from that, you have got some berries which are very very important. It can be blueberries or bilberry, and uh, again uh, they have got something specific tannins. Uh, which are protein enzymes, uh, sometimes something like ornithine decarboxylase, and uh, that uh, this is inhibited because of uh, uh, these berries and all that. Specific tannins they inhibit this ornithine decarboxylase, which is a pro uh, carcinogenic enzyme. Uh, you have got something like uh, cranberries, uh, which are uh, again uh, they go through the specific tannins. Uh, you have got some cherries, which has got the high ellagic acid content. Ellagic acid is uh, found more uh, the the most uh, food which contains a lot of ellagic acid is uh, of course uh, um, uh, pomegranate. It has got very high ellagic acid. Uh, pomegranate is one of the uh, best things, bets for uh, thing, uh, cancer. Um, cherries also sh uh, has the same particular thing. You have got fix which can help you. Um, they, uh, they, have, they claim to shrink the tumors by some 30-40% uh, uh, um, because of the benzaldehyde content. Uh, you have got uh, grape fruits and grapes because of the content, the kind of the skin of the grapes or the grapefruits, uh, skin has got something like pectin and uh, that is one thing which is uh, 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 along with that they have something like resveratrol, particularly uh, brown grapes, uh, black grapes, they have got high content of resveratrol and um, this uh, resveratrol inhibits the cyclooxygenase, uh, the enzyme which helps activate some carcinogens. Um, yes, this is uh, one more thing which I can always go on for uh, lemon as well as oranges. Uh, because of the high vitamin C content and uh, the limonin content, the high limonin content which contributes to this one. There is one more fruit which I always tell uh, ki, uh, for people to uh, take the stem out of, of that particular thing is the pineapple. Uh, pineapple uh, fruit has got uh, one of the highest uh, glycemic index. Uh, if you treat, eat the fruit portion of the pineapple, uh, your uh, sugar levels will just go crazy. Um, uh, I, I don't advise to uh, people to with having uh, sugar problems and cancer people to take that fruit but instead if they can take the middle stem of that which has got high content of bromelain it's amazing kind of stuff along with that you have got something like raspberries you have got something like uh, strawberries um, which really help and uh, uh, when it comes to the foods I would like to talk about something like mushrooms fungi uh, it can be good mushrooms, something like shattic mushroom, um, uh, something like Chinese black tree fungus, caterpillar fungus, all these things has got something, they have got uh, uh, something like benzaldehyde and they, they, they have some uh, inhibits the growth of some types of cancer due to the, their presence. They have something like methanolic compounds in uh, uh, this uh, things, foods, uh, which help. Uh, which help in the um, uh, growth of the cancer and uh, they strongly inhibit the, this benzaldehyde, KS2, lignan, there are other things which cause um, come on, uh, other things uh, uh, the grains uh, the, there is a thing called rye 
uh, which is uh, which may reduce the risk of various forms of cancer uh, with uh, what was seen that people who use a lot of rye uh, has low incidence of cancer the, so uh, something this is a simple thing which is a grain which helps in a big way uh, you have got uh, uh, legumes most legumes prevent cancer by means of their constituent protease inhibitors contracting ca uh, carcinogens within the intestines. You have got something like barley, you have got something like soya beans which prevent many forms of cancer and uh, barley again due to the content of this protease inhibitor content. They, uh, uh, you have something uh, nuts which really help. Uh, I think I can uh, only talk about one thing called brazil nuts, I, uh, other nuts I am not very sure. Um, brazil nuts have got high content of ellagic acid and selenium, both are known to. Uh, selenium is a uh, rich so selenium is very rich um, usually in all the nuts and uh, what I believe is if you are able to get hold of something like uh, organic nuts, you need to look into that. Uh, dietary oils, uh, what are the how you uh, we have been uh, always talking about fish oils, how they can prevent some forms of cancer. We have got something like flaxseed oil, uh, inhibits the development of cancer. You have got uh, olive oil, you have got something like shark liver oil, and uh, it is the alkyl glycerols in the shark liver oil which enhance the function of WBCs, including macrophages which inhibit the activity of protein kinase and uh, squalene also uh, in that shark liver oil contributes to the anti-cancer properties of shark liver oil. Shark liver oil is the amazing product to certainly have if you are having uh, precancerous or if you, are, you have uh, if you are uh, suffering from cancer. Um, other things which I always uh, has a uh, I will try to work on the food is the Broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are the highest known dietary source of a potent anti cancer phytochemical which is called sulforaphane. And I certainly um, uh, can always uh, uh, tell that this is the most amazing thing you can. Uh, whatever uh, uh, cruciferous vegetables and all that, they are good, but when nothing comes of that uh, broccoli sprouts are the one of the best particular stuffs. Uh, we have some seeds which help uh, prevent some forms of cancers. Usually they are something like um, fenugreek seeds, you have got flax seeds, grape seed extracts. It helps, it helps in a big way. You have got some poppy seeds and um, you have uh, vegetables. Well, the people who adopt vegetarian uh, diet have lower incidence of, of cancer, most of the most cancers. Um, uh, the reason being, you you need to look into all these vegetables, which are really helps beetroot inhibit or treat some forms of cancer. Uh, bitter milan. You have broccoli. You have got basil sprouts. You have cabbage. You have cauliflower see all these things you have got some eggplant you have got something like garlic um, uh, you have got onions you have got potatoes potatoes prevent scars cancer by means of the chlorogenic acid content of the potatoes so the chlorogenic acid in the potato it helps in the, uh, uh, preventing some forms of cell mutations amazing stuff i was never aware of the potatoes called potatoes can be a kind of uh, thing which can be used for uh, uh, it prevents cancer uh, it was uh, uh, other things are something like the radish you have got tomatoes tomatoes prevent many forms of cancer because of the lycopene content amazing spinach spinach is has got something uh, it prevents formation of nitrosomines due to the keratinides and histidine in the spinach Amazing, amazing. These are all the things which wheat grass, you need to use, start using some wheat grass to understand what is the content of chlorophyll in the wheat grass which uh, prevents many metabolic act, uh, which can uh, allow this antimicrotic activity. Uh, big take, I think food and herb treatment 
uh, foods are, are the basic uh, thing you need to invest time you need to understand what uh, the things are really uh, available and what we can work on this particular stuff apart from that i have i uh, certainly look into some of the herbs which can prevent or treat various forms of cancer one is the thing called aloe vera and uh, aloe vera is known to inhibit the metastasis of some types of cancer there is a thing called asafoetida there is a thing called uh, blueberry um, uh, bra uh, there is something called black cumin seeds you got something like basil um, uh, tulsi uh, leaves uh, you have got black cumin seeds you have got black walnut you have got cat's claw you have got cinnamon cinnamon has got the highest cinnamonic acid content Uh, which uh, uh, usually reduces the cancer caused by the several food add synthetic food additives cinnamon akinesi you have got a uh, lot of stuff indian rhubarb you have got korean ginseng you have got lavender you have got nettle you have got noni you have got parsley uh, so all these things saffron uh, saffron uh, this is a uh, saffron stimulates apoptosis in some types of cancer cells due to the crossing content of saffron so this is uh, there is something called st john's wort there is something called green tea uh, green tea inhibits the process of angiogenesis green tea inhibits the metastasis of cancer cell the egcg content of the green tea inhibits the secretion of collagenase by the cancer cells the egcg content of green tea inhibits urokinase EGCG content of green tea inhibits two proteolytic enzymes, which is called MMP2 and MMP9, which are involved in the cancer metastasis. Green tea uh, uh, decreases the indication of uh, incidence of radiation-induced tumors. So green tea, because of that tea polyphenols, the kind of content which has got in that, it's it's an amazing product to have it. You should always look into it. Turmeric. I'm t- uh, we talk about something like uh, curcumin in the later this one, but come turmeric uh, as it is functional anti-carcinogen and neutralizes uh, any carcinogenic carcinogenic compounds. So this is regarding some of the things which I would like to look into cancer prevention. What are the s- foods and herbs that prevent prevent and treat cancer is my major focus apart from the substances that prevent uh, and suppresses cancer you need to look into all the chemicals which were kind of thing and uh, i think this is uh, a quite exhaustive one but somewhere if god forbid you are being or your near and dear ones are being given a diagnosis of cancer you should look into this particular thing uh, along with the other therapies because this makes a lot of sense whatever things which we can pick up and we can start looking at what are the things which are available what are the fresh fr- fruits all these vegetables what they can do it has got an amazing role i can always tell you thank you